All right, folks. Next is Eternal Sonata. And wide screen again. This game's uh, by Bandai Na uh, Namco and Track Crescendo. If you haven't heard of Track Crescendo, go play the uh, Bat and Kaidos games. Now, he's Arnold Sonata. You know, defeat the boss, yada. But Eternal Sonata, it is like a RPG, like Blue Dragon and such. But uh, it has a fixed camera angle. Battle system's different. But battle system's wicked cool, though. And the battle music just rocks! Now you get your basic attack by pressing A, and the Y button to use a special ability. But you have a certain amount of time to attack the enemy. See that gauge going down on the left side of the screen? That reaches zero, he turns over. Just like in Super Mario RPG, you have to time the attack just right. So you have to take no damage. Yeah, 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 when the enemy attacks, you press the B button. We're at the right time to take little or no damage. Just like Super Mario RPG, which is pretty cool though. Super Mario RPG was an awesome game. Soundtrack in this game is awesome. Same thing with Blue Dragon. But uh, the X button is to use your items. And we select the item, you press left bumper, right bumper, it's like a throne, it's like that. Of course, his voices are in battles as every other RPG game, but when the characters talk in comics, you actually see their mouth move. Blue Dragon is like that, too, which is pretty cool. The menus are pretty simple in this game. The items, you set what items you want in the, uh, their battle. Character status, party level. Score pieces, I don't know what, uh, what uh, these are, pretty much. Photos, you can take pictures during battle, just like Bat and Kaidos. And also your options, but... Uh, one unique thing in combat, depending on when you're in the sun or the shade, your special attack changes. If you're in the sun, you do sun attack. If you're in the dark, you do dark attack. It's pretty unique, though. I don't even think I've seen anything like that in an RPG, but... Well, I'll get to it a little later. Well, oh, see, since um, I'm in the uh, dark now, I can do a dark attack. See how I changed from orange gold to a shade comet? Uh, poker reminds me of Colette Grinnell. See how she said I'm sorry? Uh, just like Colette and Tales of Symphonia. Yeah. You know, Blue Dragon is coming out August 28th, and Eternal Sonata is coming out uh, September 17th. Uh, I can't wait for both of these games, though. But, uh, I don't know what I can say, though. But, anyways, though. Uh, some enemies do uh, change in combat. Like these guys are the small versions, but they can grow. Uh, these guys, but they can get big. Yeah, I'm in the shade. I can do phantom wave. One tactic you should do with the enemies: get behind and attack. You do more damage. Oh, I did 12, uh, 12 hits. I haven't done that much, and usually do is about 11. So just like Super Mario RPG, you gotta time it. Ugh. Sounds like an Eternal Sonata. I think some of it's orchestrated. 
Bow music sounds orchestrated. Blah, 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 I like orchestrated music. Castlevania Symphony of the Night was an example. The soundtrack is just awesome in that game. Sometimes during combat, sometimes it can be difficult finding the enemy, so you might waste a whole turn searching for the enemy. Oh, yeah, even after you kill the enemy, you can still move around a bit try to get to the next enemy. Overall, that's all I can say about uh, the demo of Eternal Sonata and Blue Dragon. And I'm definitely looking forward to both of these games. They, both of them, they kick ass. That's all I can say about it. And I know in no, um, in September Halo 3 is coming out, but I think I might be getting that. But I'm definitely getting Eternal Sonata as well. I'm getting Blue Dragon at the end of this month as well. But, uh, anyways, this is Nick, signing off.